So now we know how to use finite differences to get a first derivative approximation or a, an approximation of the second derivative. But it's of lowest order. There's uh, no less accurate way of doing this. The other question is, um, is there a way of actually getting more accurate results than only using two points or three points to calculate first or second derivatives? And um, the answer is yes. And to do that, we actually extend our domain of influence beyond, uh, around the point where we're interested in, in calculating the, the derivatives. And let's start by, um, let's take as an example, um, the points x, x plus dx, x plus 2dx on the one side, and x minus dx and my x minus 2dx on the other side. And as you probably already expect, uh, we again use uh, Taylor series uh, to do that. And let's simply write down the Taylor series for these uh, five points. So we are now seeking five coefficients, five weights, a, b, c, d, e. And we multiply the first uh, and uh, second, third and so forth equation with these uh, uh, coefficients and we sum everything up. So we're looking for five coefficients, a, b, c, d, e. How far do we have to go with our Taylor series? Actually, we have to go to fourth order uh, to be able to come up with a five by five system matrix uh, that we can invert. So here we have, again, our, our system matrix A multiplying our um, coefficient uh, vector W. And on the right-hand side, if we want to approximate or find the, the weights for a second derivative, we will actually have a vector of 0, 0, 2 by dx squared, 0, 0, that you can easily uh, derive by um, uh, using these uh, Taylor expansions. Now, the solution, if you do the matrix inversion, is shown here for all coefficients. Um, it's easier to look at this graphically. So what you can see is now we have a, a five-point operator, so we have two points more. Um, I also show the uh, original three-point operator. And um, this actually now is a, a, a derivative accurate to fourth order. So we can, of course, use more points. And uh, this is shown here. If we add more and more points, uh, we obtain using exactly the same kind of um, algorithm, operators that are longer and longer and are more and more accurate. Whether that's useful, we will discuss later on. But there's one important observation. The actual weights with which we multiply the functional values away from the central point is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And that's a characteristic of these uh, uh, Taylor operators uh, so it's also questionable whether, whether it makes sense to actually use the information of those points uh, far away from the central point where we um, want to estimate the derivative. This is what we're going to um, investigate or the accuracy improvement we're going to investigate with our Python codes.